Welcome to the Introductions Necessary podcast, a daily introduction to the contributions of women working in STEM fields. Today marks the 38th anniversary of the tragic explosion of the Space Shuttle Challenger, which killed its seven crew members, including mission specialist Judith Resnick. The Challenger mission was to be Resnick's second space shuttle flight that followed her 1984 mission aboard the shuttle Discovery. In being selected for that mission, she earned the honor of being the second American woman in space and the first Jewish woman in space. Resnick studied engineering, receiving degrees from Carnegie Mellon and the University of Maryland, including a doctorate in electrical engineering in 1977. It was at this time that NASA began recruiting for new astronaut candidates, with an emphasis on adding women to their program. Applying on somewhat of a whim, she was part of the first six women selected as candidates in 1978. After a year-long training and evaluation period, she became a mission specialist and was eligible to be part of a space shuttle flight crew. On her first flight, she was responsible for operating the remote manipulator system that she had helped design, including using it to help remove ice particles from the shuttle that could have proven to be dangerous upon re-entry. During the mission, the crew also activated a solar cell wing experiment, deployed three satellites, and conducted a series of photographic experiments, including using an IMAX motion picture camera. It was a cold morning in Florida, when after three scrub launches, the shuttle Challenger left the launch pad for the final time. Barely over a minute into the flight, the shuttle exploded due to faulty O-rings allowing a hydrogen leak, leading to the first fatal accident involving an American spacecraft in flight. In her honor, craters on the Moon and Venus were named the Resnick Crater, and the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers gives a Judith A. Resnick Award annually. In 1986, families of the Challenger crew established the Challenger Center with the goal to increase children's interest in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Resnick was awarded the NASA Space Flight Medal for her first flight, and along with the rest of the Challenger crew, the Congressional Space Medal of Honor in 2004. Introductions Necessary is a production of Nine Hour Films. Our music was composed by Kristen Baum. Please visit our website, introductionsnecessary.com, to listen to previous episodes and learn more about the women featured in this program. We would love for you to introduce yourself to us on Patreon. You'll get the latest updates and find out how to support the podcast on patreon.com slash nine hour films. Thank you for listening.